Hi everybody. Welcome to our private group. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so most of you know that anyway. Uh, thank you everybody for joining and thank you to everybody that's always really encouraged me in my drawing. Um, and I just got to the point where I just thought, well, you know, I'd love to show other people what I've learned in 14 years and try and speed things up for them because I think it can be, I think it can be done. And it's much more fun. And the way I draw now is so different compared to how I started. Um, it's just so much more fun. It's just looser. We're not gonna be painting by numbers. I'll show you the pencil numbers so that if you don't have the pencils, you can just match them with what you've got. I want to try and make it as easy and fun and light as possible. And the good thing about being in a group is that we can all um, show e each other our work and how we've got on with the same project. And uh, just, again, move on from helping each other. Um, I'm going to be learning too, because I've never done, I've never taught art before. Um, I've never done an online course before. Um, uh, which is why I'm offering it free, really, because it's like um, it's a trial run for me, but it also is going to help you. I know. Um, I just know it will help you. I just know it will. And I, I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. I've tried to keep the price down with the products that you're going to need to get to start the course if you haven't got any. But if you've already got some pencils, that'd be great. You know, just use those. They've got to be pastel pencils. They can't be oil pencils, uh, oil pastel pencils. They're totally different things. Yesterday, I just put on um, uh, a materials guide so, so that you can just, you know, click on the links I've put in that and just look at the products and you can shop around yourself and get, get the best price. Um, but it doesn't have to cost you a lot. You don't need a lot of space. This is where I do most of my art in here, in a little, tiny little room. And that's a good thing about pastels. They don't take up much room. You don't have uh, the messy and the time factor of clearing up um, oil paints or even watercolor. Um, you just put your pencils down and walk away. And then when you're ready, you come back and begin again. Um, I'm going to give you all sorts of tips about how long you should be doing art at a time and um, how you can, you know, enjoy it more by not doing it too long at a stretch and stuff like that. Um, I've, I've learned the hard way. So, um, you know, I just want to help. I just want to help you enjoy it more, really. And um, yeah, so. At the moment, I'm choosing the animal we're going to draw first. And um, uh, it's quite interesting, really, because the ones I've gone for are the dogs or dogs that are smiling. But of course, their teeth are showing. So I'd like to know how you feel about tackling teeth on for some of you. It'll be your first, it'll be your first picture. How do you feel about that? Do you, teeth and tongues? You know, because people are afraid of teeth and tongues normally because they just look tricky, but they're not. They're not tricky, really. You just need to take it a step at a time. I think you could do it. I'd like to know whether you want a cat or a dog. I've put a poll here. It's up in the um, uh, featured. I'm learning how Facebook page works as well. I'm just still getting my learning my way around it. And uh, it's, it's been really good, actually. I've, I've really enjoyed using Facebook. It, it's great. Um, it's been really helpful. Uh, but there's a lot to learn. Um, so I'm bound to make mistakes and I'm bound to be able to do things in better ways. So I need you really to tell me um, how I can make things better, how I can improve, because I really, I really want to. And the, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, because I'm older now and I spent 14 years drawing, 
A lot of people I've noticed on YouTube and doing other courses, they are my age or older. They haven't got the time. They haven't got 14 years, possibly, to spend learning how to do teeny little strokes and making it all realistic. You can do that. You can do it a quick way. And this is what I want to show you. It doesn't have to be tricky. It doesn't have to be hard. Um, it doesn't have to be laborious. Um, so, but it, it does have to be fun for me anyway. And I think for most people. Um, so that's what I want to try and get across. We're not going to be painting by numbers. It doesn't have to be exactly like I do it. I want to encourage you to do your own thing. And, um, you know, I really want to see pictures that you do that are going to be better than mine. That's what I'm aiming for. And more interesting than mine, possibly. Um, I hope so. I hope so. Anyway, I'm going to show you everything I know, all my extra tips that I'll throw in, philosophies in life, probably, I'm afraid. Some of you might like and some may not. Um, anyway, I'm looking forward to starting and I'm nearly ready, but I just need to try out things like the Zoom thing and um, I've made another private group to try it all out on. So you won't be total guinea pigs. The other private group will have nobody in it. So if I make mistakes, no one's going to suffer. So I'll have a trial run on that. Um, so, yeah, anything you want to ask me, just write in the comments here. Um, any comments about the material list, just, you know, just ask me on here. Facebook's been a fantastic way to communicate, I think. And it just seems to be better than ever, really. So, um, yeah, let's go for it. And if you want to, um, just invite friends as well and invite as many people as you want as many people as you think might be interested most people want a picture of their pet um but to be able to do your pet yourself is a step on and i love that idea i really love that idea so it's going to be a cat or a dog just or or a don't mind decision so look for the pole up in the um featured and you know, tell me what you want. Put your vote in. And um, let me know about the tongues, tongues and teeth thing. I need to know. Because if you, if most people here are going to be nervous about doing that, I don't want you to do it. I, I want you to do something that you feel okay with tackling. Um, but as I say, it can be done. It really can be. Um, anything else? If I think of anything else, I'll just have to type it because uh, it's taken me a bit of courage to get up to do this. Um, so, yeah, if, if there's anything else you want to ask me, I'll get more confident about doing the videos and we can maybe just do a quick video if I've got anything to say. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to be making loads more process videos of my pictures that I've done um, over 14 years because I've always taken pictures as the process goes for my own learning really. Um, it's a great learning tool actually, it really is. Um, but one of the most important things before we even start to pick up pencils or materials is choosing our picture. That can make a world of difference as to how much you're going to enjoy um, drawing that animal. And it doesn't mean to say, you know, whether it be a cat or a dog. It means that it's a good picture. Um, it doesn't have to be a fantastic quality picture, but the pose has to be good. And the animal, I think really it should be profile or ideally or looking straight at the camera looking right into your eyes and that's really really a special I think I love those pictures where the animals are looking right at the camera and they have to be looking relaxed they have to be looking happy 
um, not nervous. Uh, I've picked out loads of lovely cat pictures from Furball Farm, actually, where they're all they're all strays, you know, picked up from all sorts of awful places and uh, are just being looked after. And some of them have got, you know, half an ear and some of them have got one eye. I've tried to pick the ones for us now uh, that are looking right at the camera. Also, nice lighting, outside lighting is really important in a photo, not because of the quality, it's because of the light and shade and the interest you get in that picture. And if you get it right, you can make them look really real. They look really real because of the way they're lit. And it's just something that our brains make up and um, do the work for us, really. Uh, so your your picture doesn't have to be really perfect, but the lighting, I'm not, you know, I'll stress that, how to get that right. So yeah, um, I'll choose the picture. Just let me know whether, whether you want a cat or a dog. Um, I think I'm rambling on a bit now, so we'll just leave it there. Thank you again for joining uh, your private group. And um, as I say, if you've got other people that are interested in doing it with us, that'd be fantastic. More merrier. Uh, but I would like them to cover, look at the rules of the group because it's important because it's a private group. And I want people to agree that it's private. And uh, there are certain things that I really want you to take on board um, because of con confidentiality and stuff like that. Um, and I want people to feel that they can say anything they want to each other in a nice way. Um, and also that I've got three questions. It's just three questions. I'd like you to answer those. And if you haven't already, uh, they are up with the group rules and they should have come on when you joined um, this group. Um, I think most of you, you have answered them, which is fantastic, thank you. But they're important because they're important pointers for me to know what you want, to know what you want to get from joining a group now, what you expect to achieve, and um, just to leave your contact email address so that I can properly keep you updated. It's not all going to be just from Facebook. I need to remind you about the um, questions and answers days and if anything changes if people don't find the time is good and stuff like that we just need to be able to keep you updated properly um so yeah that's it i'm going to stop now because i could go on on all night as most of you know um that are here already um so yeah anyway can't wait to get cracking i I've been working really hard on this. I've been putting a lot of time into getting this already. Um, so it won't be long now. Okay, see you there. Or be square. Oh my God, that's cool, Nick. I'm sorry I said that. Okay, anyway, bye. Bye for now. Uh, how do I stop the video? Okay, here it is. <laughs>